Todd, welcome. How are you? I'm good, Mike. How are you? All right, Coach, year three already. Uh, one good, one tough. Uh, how's year three been treating you so far? So far, so good. You know, everybody's working hard. We're getting better every day. Uh, we're developing some continuity in a lot of positions that we've moved around, so it's been going good. You know, one thing I noticed just talking to a couple of you defensive linemen here, I bring up last year. No one, I don't want to talk about that. Last year's over, last year's over, last year's over. Condition, last year's over. But Williams did say, we used last year to show that we have to grow from it. Uh, you had one very good year here, one very tough year here. W- what did you take or use to get to year three from what was a tough year two? Just a lot of things from my standpoint that didn't go well that you can grow from. I think I used a lot of things after the first year as well to go into the second year and growing the team chemistry, having a lot of new people and building the foundation from the ground up as opposed to having a bunch of guys that were older in free agency that those guys need to gel in a bunch of different ways as well as just on on the field. So we spent a lot of time together off the field or those guys spent a lot of time together off the field and developing that type of chemistry which helped them on the field. You have a lot of different players in year three than you had in year one. A whole bunch of different players. Um, Is this team... Uh, one by design is more in your likeness than than the first two. How would you describe year three versus the first two? Uh, I know you have a lot of new faces on offense. I'll get to that. But how about the overall roster at, at, for year three? The overall roster is getting there. You know, we have a lot of younger guys and a lot of newer guys, period. So you like having the younger guys? Yeah, because they're faster and they can practice. They don't have the bumps and bruises of practice just to get ready now they don't have the experience and that's right. what the preseason is for but from an attitude standpoint and a learning standpoint you know you can kind of mold them from the ground up i know your career as a safety uh as a defensive back uh with some tremendous teams and great coaches you have a couple of safeties here one who clearly looks like he could be special and adams both of them look very good you're putting a lot on their shoulders how about you how about your relationship and what you expect from these two very talented young safeties well our relationship has been great since they came in the building uh they are very bright you know obviously they're going to have some growing pains on the certain plays when they try to game plan but they study together quite a bit and they want to learn the game inside out, and they're doing it the right way. So we look forward to them having very good careers and very good times here. Either one remind you of you a little bit when you were young? No, they're a lot faster than I I'm not faster, but you know what? You were a really good player, you know, So and a very uh, smart player. So how, how, do you see any of the same traits of leadership? Adam uh, seems to be one of those guys who, you know, he almost reminds me of Ronnie Lott a little when he broke in. I mean, very few guys are as vocal as he is and as confident as he is. That is a confident player. He's very vocal. I'm not going to compare him to Ronnie just yet because, in my opinion, Ronnie probably was the greatest of all time. But he broke in that way, Ronnie. Ronnie was that that way. way. He was very talkative, and he wanted everyone to know he wanted to be a leader. I asked the veterans, does it bother you? And he says, no. He walks the line. We've actually been, you know, motivated by him a little bit, even though he does know when it's, you know, not to overstep his bounds. That's a fine line for him, right, where he does going to be too much, right? But he does it the right way. He does? Okay. It's not pre-rehearsed and you know he gotcha. does it the right way and he goes it's who he is and right? it's passionate and it's right. who he is and right. players know when it's bs and they know when it's real and, and with him it's real so they gravitate towards that I, i've been saying that jeff fans they should realize once in a while you see one of these kids who can be special that guy can be special he's got those qualities you can see those guys who can be special players he's got those qualities as a player and maybe as a leader too He's a very good leader, and he's going to develop into a very good football player. You know, you knock on wood in this league, you got to keep him healthy, but the other guy's going to be a good football player as well. Yeah, him I don't know as much about, but he's a good player too, right? He's a very good football player. You know, it's interesting. Uh, can you put too much as a coach and as a former uh, safety, can you put too much on their plate this early, or, or can they handle it? No, there's a fine line. You, you put more on their plate as they can handle things and see how they react in situations, and then from that standpoint, you put more on their plate, but you don't go pile it on in the beginning this has got the makings with your linemen and if you get them all on the same page and all motivated uh and all headed in the right direction you got a lot of talent defensive line you got talent in that secondary this could be a pretty good defense no we're trying to get there they're still working some kinks out right now but they're working together they're getting to know each other pretty well playing in the preseason games and that's the biggest thing we're trying to get out of them um is it obvious to you that you're going to have to rely on that defense early as this offense takes shape how do you feel the relationship what are you going to expect from this defense early on considering you have what are going to be clearly some growing pains on offense 
Well, we're always trying to play good defense in the first place, and we're trying to keep the score down and get turnovers. The more turnovers we can get, the more chances we give the offense. I don't think it'll be as many growing pains on offense. They're still trying to find some continuity, and we've been shuffling people in and out. We'll try to focus on having some guys play a long period of time this week against the Giants to, to develop some continuity. And I think you're going to have to win a couple different ways. Some games you got to win on defense, some on offense, some on special teams. But we got to develop that attitude that no matter what, we're going to win. And we win as a team and we lose as a team. We're talking with Todd Bowles. Where, where are you right now, Todd, with your quarterback situation? Well, it's developed. Obviously, Bryce and Hacks got the bulk of the reps last week. Uh, McCown's played in this league a long time. He's right. played a lot of You know what he games. is. Right? I know what he is. I right. want to see what the other guys are. And probably after the Giants game sometime the next week, I'll name a starter. So uh, you're in no rush? Uh, I mean, would we – Is is I mean, I think everybody thinks – we all think McCown's probably going to start. Is there any reason to think that uh, he's not the favorite? Or uh, is there anything that has to go on from the kids as far as anything you're looking for specifically? Well, I want to see them develop and grow. And the Giants have a great defense, so it'll be good for them when they get in the game this week to see them play. And then next week we'll decide that decision. Are you going to play all of them against the Giants? Uh, we haven't decided that yet either. We're going to discuss that this week in practice. Again, Josh has played a lot, and Hack and Bryce still needs to grow and play some more. Uh, is the guy is it is it uh, the guy who starts against the Giants? Does that mean something, or does it not mean something? Who starts against the Giants? Doesn't mean anything. Doesn't. What would you say about the rest of your offensive uh, unit right now? Well, there's a lot of battles going on at tackle, both tackle spots and the center sp- the center position. So we got to make a decision there. So we want to p- see people play a long period of time instead of substituting everybody every couple plays. So, so you're still up in the air about a couple of guys, right? A couple of guys, there's, there'll be an important game for them this week. So you have how many spots would you say are still not settled on the offensive line? I'd say three. Three are not settled. Yes. Wow, that's a lot going this late in the in the camp. It is. Is it that close? It's that close. Wow. Well, really, that's that's so. And you will settle it in the in in pretty much the giant game, which is the real dress rehearsal. You'll settle it this week. I would hope to settle it this week. Okay. All right. And uh, what would you say about about your linemen overall? What would you say about where the group is? I think the group is fine. They're working out. Like I said, we're shuffling a lot of guys now. We have to get some continuity with each of these guys and leave them in there a long time. So if they play long periods of time, doesn't mean they're the start. That means we're taking a look at them against certain things, and we're letting the other guys play the rest of the game and go from there, and we'll watch the film and make a decision. Losing Anua was tough. I mean, you expected you expected a lot out of him. He clearly showed you that he had big game ability. Uh, that was a real, and, and and he was waiting for his chance too, which was really a hard. You know, that's where the league is tough. You know, that was a, a very tough injury. You have Anderson, who I know you, you you think about. Tell me what you're looking at at the other wide receiver spot. We got a lot of young guys and a lot of unproven guys right now. I think Hanson and Stewart have a chance to be good. They have to learn the offense and they have to play in games to get some experience. Obviously, you got Peak and Jalen Marshall from last year, but there's a fight at number two right now. There's going to be a fight at number two, and then once these guys get to play this next Thursday and the week after that, we'll make a decision. But we got a lot of guys with talent, just no experience. And Forte and Bilal Powell. I mean, those are that, that that's on offense. That's one of your more solid positions. Clearly, with those two guys as a one-two punch. Bilal, Bilal Powell's a really nice player. He's a very good uh, number two back behind a, vi- a real veteran Forte. So I would think that you got to feel very comfortable about those two. Yeah, those two have been working together pretty good, and they're going to keep continue to get better. Um, can this team be – I mean, I guess everyone thinks you're just going to be very vanilla and just try to grind it out with the offense and be very close to the vest. Is that the offense we should expect, or maybe we'd be a little more surprised? No, you'd be a little more surprised. Okay, so you can be a little more open with this offense? We can be a little more open with the offense. And and the receivers can be uh, maybe a little more – just because we don't know them, I think people think they're not explosive. That might not be the case, right? No, they can play. They just need to play. You just need to see them. They're not household names yet because we lost some household names, but they're working hard, and they'll see them this fall. But which guy is the guy that you uh, – is Anderson the, the main guy right now? Is he is he separated from the rest of the group where he is established ahead of everybody else as far as the wide receivers? He's the most established because he played the most last year, but experience wise, yes, he's the most established. But we got a lot of young guys coming up. Hopefully that'll catch up to him. How has Peak been so far? Peak has been good. You know, he's very deceptive speed wise. He has great hands. I like him when I've player. seen him in the game. I like Peak when I've seen him. He makes plays. Yeah. He makes plays. So he's he's in the mix, right? He's definitely in the mix. How do you feel about the tight end position? 
It's going on good. You know, Austin has a good, he's had a great camp so far, and Tomlinson's very good as far as run. But I've been very impressed with Leggett. You know, I thought Leggett played well the other night. He's one of the few guys on offense I thought played well, but he played well, so he's come along fine. How do you feel about your special teams? We're mixing a lot of guys in right now. we got to focus on who can play teams and who's going to be here. Right now we're just running people in and out, but we'll try to have more continuity this week. Overall, with the players we have, if they're in there at the same time, I feel pretty good. You know, this is a different uh, coaching staff. You, you made a lot of changes in your coaching staff from last year. You had a lot of, a lot of turnover in your staff. Uh, how, how different does it feel for you as the head coach to have as many different coaches as you have this year? It's different. It's tough when you have to look in the mirror. You have to start with the coaches first and me. Then you have to start with the coaching staff and see how they fit in the scheme of things. And certain coaches didn't fit with what we were trying to do, so we replaced them. We got some good, fiery coaches. They're very intelligent. Uh, the players seem to gravitate towards them right now, and they, they're coaching their butts off right now. When we're talking with Todd Bowles, the head coach. You're here in year three. You had a good year one. You had a tough year two. Did you learn more from the tough year or more from the good year? It's a combination of both. You know, I always look at the glass half full right now, but it's a combination of both. You kind of settle in in your third year of what you really want to do and what you really see and what you know and how you want your team to be. The first year, you're feeling it out. The second year, because of some of the su success we had the first year, you try to do some of the same things that didn't work out, and then you realize you just have to do what you have to do and not worry about anything else and coaching your team. So I've learned a lot. Of hard lessons that way and going forward in year three they help me you know i've known you for a while you have a lot more you're a lot more talking to have a lot more personality than you let on you don't show it a lot you don't show it in those post-game press comments these guys write about you like you don't ever want to talk that's not really who you are but you don't show it a lot hey. you know uh, are we going to get to a point where you're going to show this media you know, in this town a little more todd bowles what? i will show them more of todd bowles but when they ask me football questions, I give them football answers. When they ask me gossip questions, I don't answer gossip questions. If they want to see me laugh more, take me to a comedy show. If they want to hear me sing, take me to a concert. So it's it's. But you, you see, you, it's you relative. See, but you know, they all. They, but, they, but I'm saying that you are a, yeah. you're a much more outgoing guy than than you, than you let let on in those post game press conferences. Oh, you probably have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> they let they should let him see a little more of that personality. I would do that. How about that? That would help. You got. I, it. I think so. So, what would you say to you? Listen, you you know that a lot of times in this league, perception isn't reality, and you never know year to year how a team's going to blossom or not. We all know that. A lot of it's about the quarterback position, and you got to get lucky there. We know that, but. What would you say to the folks who are, you know, the Jet fans who are listening to guys say this team's going to win two games or this team's a terrible team or this team's got no chance? Or, what would your message as the guy be to the Jet fans who are going to fill your stadium that first week? I would tell them that, you know, we're not going to be a terrible team. We're going to come out there and fight, and blood, sweat, and tears will go out to this city and our fans, and we're going to win more games than everybody ever expected. Uh, all right. Uh, right. So do you, can you tell already whether you – how you feel about a group? Can you tell in train? See, training camp's not like training camp used to be. You know that. I mean, you're never on the field. Right. You're doing so much work inside. You're doing so much walkthrough work. Can you get a good feel for your team now, or does it take you a couple games in the season before you get a real feel for your team? I have a feel for my team as far as they're playing for each other and not just with each other. It you like the you like the feeling, you like the personality like the of the group. I like the feel and the personality, but it takes a few games to define that personality of who we really are. Does it scare you to have so many new faces? No, I'm excited about it. Yeah. I'm excited about it. And, you know, Coach Parcells always said, you never know what you can do until you know what you didn't have. Yeah, you know, it's funny when you – this. it's such a fine line in this league as to who play, can't play and can play. You know, it's such a fine line. And just because a guy's not a name, you become a name really quick in this league. You really can. A lot of times having names isn't the thing because guys can coast too. I mean, we, we, we know that. So it's it's always different in this league than others because – you know, in this league, it's it's so small year to year. 
how much positions change and people change that I always find it the hardest sport to predict which way a team's going to go. It's, it's very hard. And I always think teams that get off fast can really have a good season. Like if you can do well for the first quarter season, that can change everything for a team. Or it could take a good team take them apart. And right. Move, you know? Confidence is everything. You know, you get off to a good start and then those guys get their confidence going. And Plus guys aren't afraid going. to be, then also guys aren't afraid to give a little more They and, they, and they're not selfish when they're seeing success, you know? And that's the key. Yeah. You that's know, you want the guys all pulling together, right? And everybody selfless, yeah. not selfish. Yeah, and it can go either way really quickly, can it? Yes, it can. So you feel do you feel good about this group? I mean, do you do you like do you, do you, do you, do you say boy, I feel like I'm short-handed or do you feel like maybe you got a little surprise here? This is probably my most enjoyable year right now. Really? I feel that good about it. Uh, I feel great about the guys. I feel the chemistry is good and I'm happy to come to work every day. I always have been, but right now this has been my most enjoyable year. You got a lot of kids. Yeah, a lot of young guys. I do. I do. And, you know, every day. They keep me young. Is it more teacher this year than the first two seasons? A lot more. Yeah. The first year because there was no new, but a lot more because they're younger. Yeah. That, but that puts a lot of strain on you and your assistants, though. That's what we're here to do. So you're doing a lot more teaching. I'm enjoying every minute. Okay. And we will have a quarterback decision right after the Giant game? Like, no. No? Probably that next week. A week. You're going to hold everybody up for another week. Well, here, I've got to so. watch the film and everything. Okay. So it'll be a little while after the Giant game. Uh, but before the fourth preseason game, you'll have a, a, a decision? Hopefully, yes. All right. Well, listen, good luck this year. Thanks, Thanks Mike. Good to see it. you. Thank you.